Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you the track bar control in Windows Form. So uh, drag and drop, you know very well about the track bar control. This is the width and the height of the track bar control. Okay, so now if you want to increase the width and the height of the track bar control by using property window, so you can do this. Okay, uh, if you want to dock in the bottom right corner and the top uh, right uh, on the and you want to fill and this is you can use the dock property okay okay uh, it's a simple and the minimize and the maximum property of the drag but uh, I mean to say you can drag to 100 uh, then the minimum is zero value that is the value of the tra track bar control okay the default value of the track bar control is the 20 so uh, your track point pointer is there in at the position of the 20 the tab index is a zero and uh, you have a minimum and maximum properties also considered and if you want to large changes I mean to say if uh, in your uh, keyboards uh, in your keyboard key that is the up and the down key the large changes denoted and the small changes you can uh, do by using your uh, arrow keys of your uh, keyboards so the small changes it means uh, the five steps up and down when you uh, use the arrow key okay so uh, there is the up uh, there is the arrow key and five steps move and move back and move forward of your uh, drag bar control okay actually the track bar control is denoted the uh, some value and you can use these value in your uh, price up uh, sliding control as well as okay uh, in any other applications if you want to design your track bar control in the code behind file or you can say the c sharp file you can use this a track bar control have a scroll uh, event and you can uh, print the value of the current uh, scroll bar value by using track bar one dot value dot two string so this is that value is 21 if move again the value is 26 so the small changes you can notice that the five uh, when we scroll one steps then uh, track pointer is move five steps there is the small changes value if you want to do uh, the same thing in the code behind file you can use the track bar class so tc1 equals to new track bar just after the initializing component tc1 dot name it means you can define the name property that is uniquely identified uh, in the program that is the name property width and the height i also describe in the um, design area when we uh, drag a track bar control in the first time okay the height is 90 and the width is 900 as usual in the uh, design time I will uh, I was take a TC1 is equals to minimum equals to 0 and TC1 dot maximum is 50 so minimum property is there and maximum is 50 uh, in the design time uh, I was taking I was take a uh, 500 but uh, it this is uh, but I am taking 50 in code file and the tick frequency it means the tens uh, 10 and the tick style is the bottom right corner okay tc1 is the orientation uh, tc1 dot orientation is horizontally and the vertically is two option is in there uh, in the orientation property okay so uh, If you want to uh, the default uh, the orientation property is the horizontal so uh, there is no need to uh, define it okay uh, and uh, if you want to uh, handle the event that is the scroll event at runtime you can do this the same thing and call the uh, definition part this is designed already so 
so you can do this and thank you very much for watching this video and keep watching my all other videos which is related to controls and projects and uh, many more things like the UI designs thank you very much for watching